Well, Dan, while you're cleaning up, uh, maybe you could just uh, kind of tell me a little bit. What, what were your, your goals for tonight, and, and how do you think things worked out? <laughs> well, um, my goals originally last week when I left was to kind of create this map of the, the parts of the map. So we've been working pretty hard at that. Um, one thing I've noticed with this class in particular is that they're not very much into going to Mass. I think that kind of came up in the uh, conversation earlier. So I've been really trying to just get them to be thinking about the Mass all the time. And this was one way that I thought we could kind of really explore it. Um, and it was another way kind of tying in that way to possibly being a tutor to the second graders may kind of make it a little more real for them to get them to do that. So I really wish I could have done that today. Um, but then they said that there was a change in the schedule and that we were, we were going to have the prayer service. That I knew about the prayer service, but then for reconciliation for next week. So, um, so then my goal became to prepare them for what was going to happen with reconciliation next week. Um, and I thought it was okay. I think it was a pretty dry, clear cut in there. Um, had I maybe had a little more time, I possibly was thinking about maybe mo mocking it, having some of the kids kind of partner up, pretending to be the priest and what have you. Um, having that maybe 15 minutes or 30 minutes, I didn't know how long the class was going to be. I kind of went with the straight out. Does like that happen too often, the, the schedule changes? and, and no. how, do, how do you deal with that? It, it, not so much the schedule changes. It just seems that this year... There's just no consistency. It seems like we're in church one week. We have, uh, you know, we have a day off because they're off school for whatever week. Uh, and I don't know that we've ever had more than two weeks in a row of being in class. Um, so things like that have kind of really been hard to maintain some consistency. One of the things I think we did a great job of this year was having them find passages in the Bible. Um, so that we could kind of go over the readings and we did a really cool game with the kids where they were just constantly finding verses in the Bible and they were becoming experts at it. And I don't know that I've had a class since then where we've been able to take the Bibles out and go through the readings yet. You know, one of the ideas was that they were each going to um, take a turn giving a homily about next week's gospel. So that was going to help them to go through the Bible and I just haven't done that. And I, and I, I might... My fear now is if I brought that back to them, they would look at me like I have two heads. You know, like, where is this coming from again? Um, this sounds like you have lots of uh, big dreams. So you want to do lots of things, and do when you get, if you can get to it, you will. Right? Um, so what I am going to do is um, two, some just goals before we go to Christmas, uh, as they're going to create kind of an Advent paper chain of some different. Uh, kind of good works that they could do to help prepare them for Christmas. Uh, they're going to kind of write those on little paper strips and we're going to glue them or staple them together and kind of have almost like a garland for the Christmas tree. I'm going to ask them to take that home and if they want to put it on their own Christmas tree or put it in their room, it may be a way to kind of take these ideas that we came with today and maybe make them a little more tangible, maybe something for them to think about more in the future.